FXP, welcome to my channel. Look at the channel change knob that does just pull off on the Icon 52. It has cracked here, so uh, the station is uh, yeah, very unhappy that this has happened to his Icon 52, being that it's so expensive. And you'll look that this has actually happened to me, and also my LED fell off as well. And I had to sort of modify that because so when the LED fell off, I could not find it. And I've contacted ICOM in the UK and they can't get the LED. I'm now going to message them about the, the cracked button. You'll see that I repaired my cracked button as well. What do you think? Let me know. ICOM 52. Watch the rest of the video. So if you look at mine, what I did was, and, and it's, you know, it's not brilliant, but mine cracked in the same way. See that? So I just left it overnight with super glue. You need to not lose that sort of little metal spring that you can see there the, the sort of d-shaped spring and then what i do i just slipped it on it literally just slides on but i'm sure icon would probably sell it there you go, i just slips on there it does work and i sort of to be honest i've forgotten that i've repaired it but it does seem to work it's not brilliant but yeah i got a feeling that the the, volume, the smaller volume button it isn't quite man enough and if it gets a little tap it will probably crack. So it's worth uh, contacting ICOM to find out what they cost. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe. All the best. The other thing I had happen was my LED fell out so I had to actually make this one up from an old LED from another radio. It looks okay. Good red and green as it should. But um, yeah.